Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and we are invading Russia as Japan here in Europa Universalis 4. Russia has an army down here in my vassal's land, for whatever reason. He can do that all he wants. I don't care. And the Ottomans, who are the war leader, are winning the war pretty handily, so I'm not too concerned about that. But I am concerned about the Ottomans having a huge amount of rebels that they need to deal with. So they may just be putting down rebels rather than fighting the war. But, oh well. As long as they win, then we win. It's win-win for everyone, right? And having this war... Oop, there's, a, there's, an, there's an army. Okay, where are they going? Where are they going? Keep an eye on the army. They're going... Sayan? They're coming my way. Alright, not good, not good, not good. Uh, what's the supply limit? 41? Yeah, fall back. Group up, fall back. Supply limit here, 24, not quite good enough. Um, 37, go over there. We'll go stop in here. Keep our armies together and see what that jackass does. It's too bad we can't see the frickin' fog over here. Okay, now he's going south. He's going this way, okay. Maybe he's going to come kill the rebels? I don't know. He does have some rebel problems. <laughs> He's down here smashing up my vassal's army. Like, like anyone cares about my vassal's army. The Ottomans don't care. I don't care. Okay, can't help the Majapahit anymore. Are we still at 174? Yep. We really need to uh, either have them want access, or we need to uh, kill some rebels in their lands. But they don't seem to have any revolt risk at all. Oh well. Whatever. Keep an eye on them. Over at Horde, you guys like us. I'm not going to tinker with that too much. Ottomans... 76. Yeah, go go improve relations over there, baby. That's the spirit. Fund the troops. Good idea. There goes our economy. 55 ducats a month. <whistles> Expensive troops they are. And our frickin' merchant leaves because, well, overextension. Overextension needs to end. It ends later this year. Legitimacy question. Lose 15 legitimacy again. So we've lost that, what, three times now? We've lost 45 legitimacy to that event. Maybe there should, maybe there should be a cap to how many times that event can pop up. Especially since our overextension is going to go away in literally a month. We'll be fine. Where are you going, Russia? Where are you going, bro? We've already lost 13,000 manpower just walking in our own territory. <laughs> That's insane. Uh, we should probably keep an eye on Wargs. It's okay. Wargs auction's okay. And our overextension has gone down. Thank goodness. We have cored something. So we still have some other ones coming in in two years and two years. Okay, two years we're going to get a lot to go down. Banton's a big one. So that's going to come down. And their army is hiding here in Kange. He may be coming towards these rebels. It's possible. We could attack him there, but eh. I mean, I'm in no rush to attack him, to be honest. We'll just stay at the ready and see what happens. Yep, there he is. He's coming to fight me. He's coming to fight. He's coming to fight. 9th of February. Alright, you want to fight if I come in and help? Yes, he still wants to fight. No, he does not. Now he's changing course. Stupid autosave fucks everything up. Whoa, did he really leave that quickly? Yeah, holy shit, it showed him coming to Karenga, and then he ran down to Uday, like, super fast. How did that happen? Super fast. All right, here he comes. He's going to attack from Barguzin. So how long does it take to go to Barguzin? It takes a whole month. And how long does it take to get to Karenga? A whole month. These provinces are too large. <laughs> so either he will or he won't fight us. End of story. All right? But the AI is sort of cheating here, but oh well. Right, Bargu's in, yeah, yeah. Here he comes. Now he's not coming. And how does he have 14% war score already? What? How does he have 14? Oh, because he has bonus on 5 from cannons. He has at least 5 cannons, so he gets a 5 bonus. 
and his leader has three siege. Wow. Well, that problem's gonna fall quick. <sighs> See, I would like to attack him right now, and I'm thinking we might just do that. Can I come around and end around move? Or is he gonna come attack me if I do that? Wow, it already fell. Are you kidding me? That was quick. And now he's running away. He's running to Ude. Huh. Okay. That siege was so fast. Now he wants to come fight. Oh, we converted a province. Good. Good. Yeah, convert the culture too. Uh, ba -ba -bum, ba -ba -bum. He wants to come fight on the 5th of August. We won't get there until 24th of July, 23rd of July, and then we can do this. Yeah. Now what, Russia? Now he doesn't want to fight. And self standing colony and Ambom. Good. Corit. Are we over our limit? We're, oh, fuck, I, I think 100 counts as over the limit. Damn it, we're exactly at the limit. <sighs> okay, where else do we still have colonies? Just those two, eh? Alright. He's running to Kenge. Alright, you go ahead. Oh, now he's coming back. God, stupid AI, they always do this. So dumb. You just have to go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth. Freaking stupid. Oh shit, we went all the way there, now we're taking attrition. Oops. Huh. <laughs> dumb Shen is dumb. Alright, we finished the colony though. Right? Yep. Uh sure, whatever. I didn't mean to land. Oh well. I guess we might as well go here. Oh no, now he wants to fight. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Not unless I can do it on my terms, baby. Taking so much attrition on Shen, please. Oh, now he wants to come fight up there. Shit. Drop siege. Go. Nope, now he doesn't want to fight. He's just going to go back and forth, but we almost have the province back. Please pause when I hit the pause button, game. Shit. Freaking scary. I guess it's my fault for playing on the fastest speed, but still. You know, there needs to be a dedicated pause button. How many times do I have to complain about it? Seriously. Okay, there we go. We got it back. Good. I'm 
Dramatic currency reevaluation. Re Great, that's what I needed. I needed to lose stability. Thank you. I mean, I have too much inflation to, to do anything, so I have to take the stability hit. Oh, Christ. Well, at least we're going to finish this uh, on the 12th of May and the 2nd of October. That'll get rid of some. Yeah. Record Banton. Okay, so now, now we're under the limits. We're no longer gonna have those crappy pop-ups about legitimacy or any of that bullshit. Oh yeah, check the Shun throne. Good point. She's still alive, but we can claim the throne because her heir has died. So take that, Shun. So why don't we peace out Russia, or peace out Ukraine? You guys want peace? You know. Oh, we need a diplomat. We'll, we'll peace out Ukraine, since the Ottomans seem to be busy. They are still winning. We'll peace out Ukraine, and I assume they'll let us get out. And if they let us get out of the war, we can just immediately declare war on Shun and just go invade. Because why not? Oh shit, they have more guys coming? Ooh, yes they do. They have more guys, so we need to back the fuck out, you know? There we go. Claim on throne on Shun. Good, good. Now he's running away. Just keep running away, dude. I really don't want to fight you. And all you want to do is fucking fight me, you fucking bastard. I don't want to... Peace me out. Good. Oh, we're winning. Can I take money? No. But, fine. White piece. Ottomans are not going to like the white piece. Yeah, we lost 56 relations with them. But, they still love us. So it's okay. And now... Yo. And yo. Now we declare war on Shun. As soon as my vassal gets his troops back. Ukraine will renounce their claims. Ah, oh, shit. See, if I had stayed in, like, for two more days, he might have given me some land back. Oh, he did give me land back. Hey, look at that. Good guy Ottomans gave me some land back. Freaking nice of you, Ottomans. So, yeah, Russia... You know, they're steadily going to get weaker if the Ottomans keep winning wars like that. But right now, the Ottomans have some serious rebel problems they got to take care of. So hopefully they can get that under control. Now my vassal, I don't know where his armies are. In fact, they may be destroyed. Knowing, knowing Russia, the armies are probably destroyed. But we'll take a look anyway. So, 14k. Fine, I don't know where you are. I see 4k and 8k. I see 8k. That's it. Colony damaged. Oh, this one. Psh. Who cares? Huh. It's fine. Alright, well, since we have our troops funded, we might as well go over here and just invade. His capital is Chengde. Of all the places, his capital's way up there. Alright, come on, get your troops home, little vassal. And how many troops does Shun have? And do they have any alliances? Probably not. Shun has 42,000 troops. And he has, well, some stupid allies. Brunei. 
which is going to be a dick. But that's it. So let's let's wait a little bit for our vassal to get some shit going here. Dundar collapsed. Aw, poor Dundar. They didn't really lose anything, though. Okay. We need our dude to come home. Cord Flores. Good. Uh, guys are all the right religion. Everything's coring. Everybody's happy. Good. Keep coring. That's what she said. Lose prestige? Good. I love losing prestige. It's my favorite pastime. Is my vassal back home yet? Pretty much. The main problem I have is, you know, his armies are not ready. And he's going to do a lot of the fighting down here against Brunei. Brunei has what? 39,000. So yeah, it's going to be about 80,000 guys that we're fighting. I mean, we can take that on. We got Western Tech Group. We got better tech than both of them combined. That's not the problem. The problem is my vassal down here. He's going to take huge losses if we just go, like, right now. But if we don't go right now, what if she has a, a son, you know? Then she's going to have an heir. That's not cool. Not allowed to have children around here. Hmm, nobody interesting. Okay, our diplomat is home. I mean, that's... You guys are involved in a war. Portugal and Castile. For what? Portuguese conquest of Malvana. I'll have to ask. Where the hell is Malvana? Malvana. Oh. Why are you defending a Mednagar? <laughs> Seems a little silly for Shun and Brunei to do. Because neither of them are Hindu. And self standing colony in Okotsk. Okay, can we core it? Yeah. Cores are very manageable now. Good. Okay. Here goes nothing. Oh, royal marriage, right? Well, that's not going to change anything. We have to have a royal marriage. Call willing allies. No one wants to join, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, one thing I should do is dock up my navies so that they don't get obliterated. I think those are my only two patrols. Probably. Problem? Problem. And those are my only two armies, right? That's pretty much it. 81k, armies, armies, armies. Yeah, that's it. And then we have these guys and these guys. And that's fine. You guys go and hunt rebels. Why not? Uh, we can support more troops. We should probably get more troops. But I think we're okay right now. Where's my navy? Up there. It's fine. Uh, do I really care about their navy? What do they have for a navy? Navies. Shun. 24 ships. And Brunei. 42 ships. Ooh. Brunei's got a decent navy. Yeah, we'll just stay docked, I guess. Alright, Shun. It's too bad my vassal is not really ready for this war, but... Oh well. What are you going to do? So, it's just Shun and Ahmad Nagar. Brunei canceled their alliance. Perfect! Because I don't want to fight Brunei. Whereas Ahmed Nagar, I don't care. That is just perfect. Alright, drop troops and go. We already have 1% somehow. Oh, no, it went away. Drop and go. Drop and go. And our diplomat is back. Good. Keep relations with Majapahit going. Yeah, it's not going to work, is it? It's not going to matter. Alright, don't even bother. Just keep you available. On hand. Boundary dispute on Russia. Sure, whatever. 
But yeah, the Ottomans gave us this province back, Nurcha. Thank you, Ottomans. You're the best. Any good missions around here? Reduce overextension. Well, that's going to take some time. As long as you're colonizing, you're not going to be able to complete that mission. I wonder where their army is. Their army of 42 grand. It's got to be somewhere, right? I think we can use our navy. I don't think their navy is really going to be a problem. So let's fund it real quick. Some of these sieges are going pretty quick. Look at that. Bowding's almost done. Cool. Here they come. Must have been fighting rebels or something. Maybe. Okay, he's definitely coming. He's going to go straight over here. So let's drop a siege and go. Oh, we just lost a claim on the throne? Yeah, we just lost the claim on the throne. Man, it's good timing. He's running to Luzo. Okay. Let's engage him there. Oh, now he doesn't want to. Now he doesn't want to. Revolt in Makassar. I don't care. Kill him. Okay, we got Bowding. Move on to Shaanxi or wherever. Tong, man, these are falling fast. Pause, please. Pause. Fucking fine. Don't pause. Just be a douche. Caught you. Now what? Now what? He's retreating all the way to Yumen, which is all the way over there. Wow. All right, well, I'm not going to worry about that. Uh, yeah, you can go to Jinan. Let's go to Guyan. We'll just kind of protect against him. Or Lanzu is probably better. But we're going to end here. Thank you so much for joining me today, guys. I have been Shen. You have been you. We're in a war here to claim the throne of Shun and get them in a personal union just like Zoe. Wouldn't that be fun? See you guys then. Have a good day.